Next movement we're gonna pursue is a kettlebell flip going into a kettlebell wood chop. When we start flipping the kettlebell, we set ourselves up again with our feet about one and a quarter times tip of the part, belly button in tight to protect your spine, and hips stay stable, though the whole purpose of this exercise is thoracic mobility, which is the middle of your spine and your rib cage, right? So your hips stay stable, and as you move from side to side, you create torque on the rib cage, and we work the obliques and the lower back. When we progress to the wood chop, which is very difficult, we go into a 45 degree slant across the body. And again, it's very important that your heels are into the floor, your knees are over your third toes, and as you squat down, your hips, your pelvis doesn't change, it stays stabilized while we mobilize your thoracic spine, your ribcage. Chest stays up, posture stays tall, and give just as much energy to the swing back up into the rack as you do to the swing down across 45 degrees. The flip, and the wood chop are fundamental movements of kettlebell training. Can't be done with any other tool because it requires the actual rotation of the tool, the kettlebell itself. So you get momentum and rotational inertia at the same time. And remember, the idea is to have as much activity in this region as possible, which everybody likes. So your hips stay still, facing straight forward, and you cut across yourself as many times as you can until you need to catch your breath.